What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure surgery. Got some things through the door and some cool fix up ideas that I had in my brain that I wanted to come to that way, that I wanted to bring to fruition, which is typically how WWE action figure surgery comes to be. And that's how it all started. And I was doing fix ups and surgery long before we started doing the series on the channel. So I know we're slowly approaching that episode 100 spot, but I feel like, you know, if I had a camera and everything like that back in the day, we'd probably be over 100 by now. But anyways, here we are, Brad. We have a lineup here today. And you know what sucks is there's something I wanted to feature on here, but I have not been able to track down the parts to do do so there's one specific fix up that I want to do so badly but I cannot do it and I know exactly what I need I know exactly who I need and what parts and figures and elites and all that different stuff but I can't seem to bring it to fruition and the only way to bring it to fruition is to a find a certain figure at retail B pay two to three times the price for the figure or C shell out eighty dollars or whatever the hell it is to bring in all the parts just to make one freaking fix up and I've done it before Brad but I don't really want to do so right now but nonetheless here's everything we got today on wwe action figure surgery can't wait to get into it should be a fun episode i think i'm gonna be hyped with all the stuff that we got going as you guys can see plenty of john cena to go around we got some deluxe aggressions through the door as you guys saw from yesterday's video got an ultimate cena got some elite cenas it should be fun now some of these cenas will not be completed here today because there's some stuff i gotta do in the next couple days to kind of like fix it up but we'll get into that nonetheless man you know how surgery works let's shut the hell up dive into who is on the stretcher, which is this John Cena, and talk about what we're going to do. So guys, starting out first, we do have this Deluxe Aggression Cena, and on this specific Cena, you guys can see he's in the green, he's got the camo on there and everything like that. We're going to be taking the shoes, if you guys don't know about the, the shoes fix-ups we've been doing here. I'm basically going to take these shoes and I'm going to put them on the WrestleMania Elite that I got off eBay the other day. I already have this figure in its, you know, in its all glory. Uh, Mattel didn't do this figure right. He didn't have plain black shoes, but, you know, it's besides the point. Also, these armbands look so shish, man. They look nothing like what they looked like in real life, but who am I, Brad? Lights are too bright for me. Nonetheless, I'm going to be popping these shoes over here, and also what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm going to do it in today's action figure surgery, but I am going to be probably putting an ultimate torso and arms on here, and then putting white armbands and bicep band on here. So he'll have the dual white look, the white bicep band, and then they'll have the white shoes with an ultimate torso. Should be a really sweet fix up i can't wait to do so so that'll be really fun to do but there is the first fix up we're doing we also have another john cena over here and i'm all i'm doing here is i'm replacing these okay let's get this guy this guy over here is causing me a lot of pride this guy right here look at this guy right here check out this guy ridiculous put him over here because he's knocking over i'm going to use this deluxe aggression cena and i'm going to pop his shoes into this ultimate edition cena so obviously like i already have one of these that is supposed to be from wrestlemania 22 where he took on triple h i already have that version so i don't need another version that's identical to that so i'm going to be replacing his shoes with these uh these deluxe aggression shoes and you guys can see it's basically the exact you have the jacks equivalent of the mattel right here pretty much except i'm going to be putting these shoes over here and it's it's basically just to kind of see what it looks like. I don't really have plans right now for exactly what I want this Cena to represent, but I thought putting these shoes on here will give us a good base and it'll give me a good usage out of these shoes. And it's just to kind of see what we're working with there. So that should uh, that should work out. We'll see how that goes. I also wanted to take this Cena. Isn't accurate by all God. He never wore these armbands with this jersey. Nonetheless, I'm going to take these black and white kicks here and put them on the Elite 100 John Cena. And you guys will see, look at that. Again, this is pretty much the Jack's equivalent of what this Mattel is. You guys can see the same pattern on the shoes. They're trying to recreate those Reebok pumps without completely getting sued. So we're going to put these shoes onto this Cena. I think that's going to be a great base Cena. Really, really quality base Cena for a future fix-up. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with him just yet, but just switching those sh the shoes is going to make me happy, man. It's going to look so much better, and it's going to move around a whole lot better. I can't wait to see it. So that is definitely something we're going to do. We're also going to be doing the same thing to this Cena. So we're going to take this Cena here, the one that's all, I mean, good God in heaven. We're going to do the same thing here. Now, one thing that's about these shoes from these old Jax figures is they are chipped up. But it's nothing a little bit of fixing up can't do. A little MDT, Dr. Wadikus magic, we can fix that up. But I'm going to touch it up with some black, touch it up with some white. I'm going to be putting these shoes on this Ultimate Edition Cena here. So we have both versions of the Ultimate Cena with uh, a shoe fix up today. Should be really easy. I don't foresee any 
issues coming. Hopefully you're not watching this back and laughing at me. We also have a couple fix-ups back here that I'm excited about. We have this Finn Balor. So this right here, this head sculpt I got. My buddy Paj underscore customs on Instagram. Really quality and very good customizer. He made this Jack the Ripper Finn Balor custom head sculpt. And just look how much better it looks. Okay, to be fair. This is the... So I don't know if long time members of the channel will remember how pissed off I was when we got the Elite 70 Finn Balor. The paint job looked nothing Nothing like the, the what it was supposed to. They gave him this crazy head sculpt. The head paint looked terrible. I have since repainted the head sculpt, so you guys can see mine looks more accurate than what Mattel's did. But his paintwork puts mine to shame, and I don't like the uh, this gritting head sculpt. I did all I could to make it look better. But his looks better than mine, so I'm going to be putting this custom head sculpt that's straight face over the angry face here onto this Elite 70 Finn Balor. Should be very nice, and I appreciate Paj for sending me this. It looks fantastic, and I think it's going to work a lot better. Mine certainly looks better than Mattel's. I did custom... I want to say we painted it on surgery. We may not have, but mine looks a lot better than Mattel's did. Mattel's look nothing like the actual face paint, so shout out to Paj. We're going to be putting that head sculpt over onto this Finn Balor in this video, and it should be a nice fix-up there. And then last but not least, this one's very interesting, and I, I can't wait to see what you guys think about this one. Elite 101 Cody. You guys know that we have a few copies of it. I figured take my Elite 47 Gold Dust and put the gold boots on there from the Gold Dust figure, because this is the same exact boots. Can you imagine solid gold boots with black outsoles on this figure? I don't know, Brad. That seems like it would be fire. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell are you going to do? with the gold dust now well the gold dust wears this robe right so there's two options just put the cody rhodes boots on there because they're going to be covered up or take these alberto del rio boots and put those on there because again this is going to cover i know it won't be accurate okay i know it won't be accurate but as far as like aesthetically it'll look like this because i'm not taking the robe off so it's going to look like this and it won't be that big of a difference. So you see what I'm saying? I think that's going to be an easy fix up and I want to see. We're also going to acetone that silver stuff off. So all this silver paint that's on here will be acetoned off with the acetone back there. And also while we're at it, we might as well acetone off the Cody neck tattoo that looks nut. Okay, I'm going to settle this right now. Everybody that thinks this is accurate, it's not accurate. It's not accurate. Don't care. It isn't. Cody's neck tattoo does not start that close to his ear. And so in doing that, Mattel should absolutely lower the Cody neck tattoo into the accurate spot because the tattoo is not that close to the ear. That's all I'm going to say. So we're going to acetone off the tattoo right there on the jaw. We're going to put the gold dust boots on there. We're going to acetone the designs off those boots and it should be an easy day. I think this is going to be a good day of surgery. People wanted more frequent surgery so we're getting episode 86 knocked out right here. Slowly approaching episode number 100 man. It's going to be good. Let's get into it. Alright man so first off order of business. I I don't, I don't know. What should we do? Should we take off gold dust gear here? Let's go ahead and remove this. And this is actually a very good accessory that Mattel did here. But you guys know that I always remove the cloth goods or the rubber goods when heating them up. You're going to be heating up this figure, so I don't want to put that in the way of heat. Could damage it, you know, you don't want to be crazy. I always remember them giving him bolder shoulders too. We talk about Rhino. Look at this right here. That's gold dust, mofo. That's Dustin Rhodes. Is Dustin Rhodes going to be lifting heavy? That's definitely not proportionate. That's definitely not proportionate. Nonetheless, we're going to be heating up his boots and when we release that or when we pop those off also didn't continue the paint underneath there we're gonna heat up his boots and i'm gonna acetone them once i get them off and i guess i can go ahead and heat this up yeah might as well you might you might as well just do it and i'm gonna go ahead and pop his head off because we're gonna have to be acetoning that too so we're gonna heat that up what else can we heat up? I guess we can go ahead and heat up these boots as well. Go ahead and heat up these Alberto Del Rio boots. I'm not acetoning the ARs off. I'm just not. Could always do it at a later date. Not that important. We also have our John Cena shoes here. Gonna heat these up. Lots of John Cena shoes to heat up. So we're gonna heat these up. I think we have to heat up this Finn Balor head sculpt as well. So I guess we need to remove his jacket. Uh, man, the reds weren't accurate on this guy. I mean, there was just a lot wrong with this figure. It pissed me off. Still pissed off. One of my most disappointed figures that Mattel's ever done. Like, the hype level was Luchasaurus level for that. And then, my disappointment wasn't nearly on the level of Luchasaurus, but I was definitely pissed off, man. That was a that was a heartbreaker. I guess we'll wait on the other Cena's. We'll go ahead, we'll start off with this, and then we'll come back, because we've got to heat up more anyway, so. Let's go ahead and get the white trusty hair dryer. Get started on this business. Ladies and gentlemen. 
gentlemen, let's see if indeed that was enough to pop off the Finn Balor head sculpt here. Lord have mercy. Didn't get enough, and I don't trust it unless I get it off camera. God in heaven, that was awful. Well, we got that. We can pop that on there in a minute. Then we have the John Cena shoes. Gonna pop these out. Should be relatively simple. Now, I was told you need to shave down the peg there, but I didn't really have any issues with the other Cena, so I'm just gonna just like shove those up in there, I guess. Popping out these shoes, and then we're gonna plop those in there. Uh, let's go ahead and remove these real quick. Cody boot. Cody boot. Gold Dust Boot, Gold Dust Boot, and then Alberto Del Rio Boot up here. I'm low-key feeling very nauseous, so if my excitement level or whatever is intended, like a stomach bugs, you know, we've been going through our house, and I haven't vomited or anything, but I'm starting to get a little nauseous. Alright, we're done with that Gold Dust. We could put the robe back on him when uh, we return, but now I'm going to see if I can shove this up in here. It may not be possible, because we may need to heat up the holes like we did the other day. Yeah, didn't we like heat up the holes and they went up in there? Yeah, I think that's what we got up to do. Uh... Alright, so we know we gotta heat up the holes. Gotta heat up the holes. Gotta acetone these boots. These can go off for storage. These we'll use in just a moment. I guess so let's go ahead and plop the Finn Balor head sculpt on here. I guess let's go ahead and plop this head sculpt on here. And then we will do our acetone stuff we gotta do. And then we will go back to heating up. All right, there's that. We'll check that out at the end. That Finn Balor is going to look so much better, man. All right, now it's time to acetone. And we got to acetone these boots and this Cody head sculpt. So I use this Walmart brand, like, 100% remover acetone. And what I typically do is I just fill up the cap with a little bit. I guess cue the time lapse of the Cody Rhodes tattoo and boot graphic removal. All right, man, got our boots, got our head sculpt ready to go. And I'm actually really intrigued with the way this is going to look. The, I could be wrong, but this gold looks like it's identical to that gold. So that's that's money for me. What else we got? We got to heat up these holes here. Let's, uh, let's not heat up here. Let's put this over to the side. We will heat up these boots, these holes, which just always sounds weird. I actually can go ahead and put this head sculpt on here, so I don't need to do anything else there. Much better. Lower the tattoo, and we're all good. But we gotta heat up those holes, these boots, which, you know, you can do with that what you will. We have these boots, or these shoes. There's just, there's a lot to still heat up, man, okay? There's a lot to do here, so we gotta, we gotta get it done. And so, what sucks is, once we heat up these other John Cena figures, we're gonna have to reheat the holes or whatever, and that's gonna get really annoying really fast so that pisses me off a little bit I wonder nah let's just let's just heat it up we'll see how it goes you know sometimes you just gotta risk it to get the biscuits how we always say it uh right here on this ultimate gonna put uh oh god I meant to pull off the hat we're gonna pull off all his accessories except for the armbands just to you know ensure that you don't ruin anything man it's just the way it goes sometimes so we're gonna pull off their shirts pull off their clothes all right so here is the first ultimate edition I'm gonna put him in there like that and I'm gonna raise his arms up so no heat gets it's in there, and again, man, I don't even know. Is is this even gonna work? You know, I mean that that sometimes that's the that's the potential thing that you could mess up is is any of this gonna work? You don't know unless you try, Brad. So now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna put the this ultimate edition right here. I guess I can try to get up under there and get up in there. Yeah, that that you know what? If this doesn't work, it won't shock me, but I'll be disappointed. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, Brad, let's see what we got going. That was a really long time, to be honest with you. So hopefully all of this stuff is easily, easily done here. So there's the one Cena shoe, and then here's the other Cena shoe. So we can get that Jack Cena out of the way. And then we have this Cena here. Really, really easy to pop this out. We'll add this to the Cena fodder pile. You guys know how that is. So, I don't think these, uh, you know, the, like, I gotta get all this popped out here. Oh my god, did that even get heated? Jesus Christ in heaven above. Alright, finally got that. Lord in heaven, that was difficult. Alright, the other one was much easier. I don't think this is just gonna pop up in here on the, uh, on the ultimate Cena. You know how we were trying to put this in there? Yeah, not gonna work. Dang. Alright, so these go with this. So these can go over here. Uh, these are coming off as well. Going over there. Um, doubt these go in here as well. It's like, gonna have to be a whole separate thing where we heat those up. Um, I mean, it's pushed up in there a little bit, not as much as I'd like. Good God. Now we know why people were shaving down the pig. I think if you heat it up, though, you can shove it up in there. I, you know what I'm saying? You gotta preheat the oven, as they say. So those go with that. The Cody boots should pop on there. Uh, this is the right boot. Yeah, this is gonna easily pop on here. And then the other side, we'll look at this at the end with Balor. All right, and then these go with this. Okay, we did heat these up, but did it, did it work is the only thing. Uh, I guess this will kind of tell us what's going on with the future if this does go up in here, but you may have to like heat it up quicker than we just did. Jesus in heaven. I can't tell if that's good or not, to be honest with you. I can't tell. Huh, oh, bro, brother. This is very, very upsetting. I just can't get these damn things on. These pop off easy and go on easy. Maybe that's why they suck. Jesus, I'm getting nauseous. Right, there's the one white shoe, other white shoe. Lord, I feel like trash. Oh, what I might have to do is just cut to the next segment, bro. I'm, uh, I don't know. It's hot in here. I'll see you guys in the next segment. All right, man, so here's everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Pretty happy with everything and the way it turned out. I am going to end up snipping off the pegs on these shoes at least a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to use. Maybe somebody can give me advice on that. I guess, like some wire cutters or something like that just something i gotta cut it off because it's it's making the the ankle it's kind of giving him a little bit of a cankle look but it's also just really hard to get those up in there and i can't even switch them like multiples at a time because of that so maybe i'll have to do that but take a look at finn balor man this looks so good i think posh nailed it like look at that right there dude look how good this head sculpt is man huge shout out to posh he threw that in for completely free he just wanted to hook me up with it so a huge shout out to you man that looks amazing i think it looks great on the body definitely the way it should have came I mean, it just looks so good. Just wraps up perfectly, and now this will go up on the shelf looking absolutely beautiful. Here on the Cody, man, this Cody looks so good. Look at this Cody right here. This scene is trying to fall forward like a bish. This Cody with the gold boots, man, look at that right there. That turned out pretty damn excellent. And again, it's not like groundbreaking, but I figured since we already have like two or three copies of the white boots, you might as well get some fix-up action in here. And do a little bit of gear here. I don't know if he's ever worn something like this. I don't think he has. I know he's worn gold boots before. But with blue tights like this. I don't think so. But it definitely looks like something he would wear. And I think this is sick as hell. That that turned out pretty damn cool. I like it. So that that, that is definitely something I enjoyed there. Adding to the Cody Rhodes fix-up collection. Much like Seth Rollins and Finn Balor and stuff like that. That Cody Rhodes turned out fantastic. And then we have all of our Hall of Cena's here. Like a damn Iron Man Hall of Armor. Here's the Cena with the white shoes. Looks pretty good. Again, it'll look better when I put the white bands on there. Also, this head sculpt's chipped. I, get it. I got it from eBay, so I'm not really worried about that. But that one looks good. The Ultimate Cena with this shoe mold looks good. Now, this isn't accurate, per se, because the way Mattel made it, it's actually more accurate to WrestleMania 22, which is what the show, like, what Mattel was trying to portray, so I don't dock them on that. This actually does look really, really good. So, Mattel did a good job with the figure, and I think the fix-up looks pretty good as well. Here is the Elite 100 with these style shoes on it. That looks pretty damn good. I like the black and white. They fit together good with the light jorts. It's just clean. Very, very clean. I think that looks excellent. Super happy with the way that turned out. And then you have the Ultimate back here, which also has the same shoes on there. And I think that also turned out good. So, you know, definitely need to touch up some of the shoes, clean them up a little bit, you know, fix the paint and things of that nature. But I think overall, it's a great day of surgery. I hate that I feel like garbage. Whole family's kind of feeling kind of blessed. So, I, I, I hate that. Definitely going to have to heal up here. But we'll be healed in Jesus' name. And all will be good for 
for sure. However, that is going to wrap up the surgery, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all these fix-ups down in the comment section below. Also, huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Check out our Patreon for exclusive stuff. Link in the description below if you guys are interested in something like that. Thank you guys so very much for the patron army. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go rest. Watch the Lakers and rest. All right. Have a blessed one. I'll see you guys next time. We'll never back down.